Hey everybody, um, it's Sam, a old time friend of many of you and um, would have been hopefully a new friend of uh, a lot of you too. Um, and uh, just unfortunately could not make this event. Um, yesterday came home from work on a trail crew and my friend was painting some... Um, or spreading some polyurethane or some varnish on a board and I couldn't smell it. So I took a COVID test, an at-home test, and it's positive. Oh, that's all I, that's all I got is lack of smell, which is um, it's challenging in its own way. But um, yeah, the biggest challenge is, is not being able to see you all um, and, and the fear of, of getting other people around me sick. But otherwise, um, Martin Cuarto asked me to... Um, make a video. So, here we go. So, the theme for, for this workshop is um, drapas, elegies, and, um, and histories. Now, all of those phrases we can break apart um, in, in just a minute, but, but really quickly, what I'd love for everybody to do as, as, we're, as we dive in is, if you're watching this, which would be super cool, um, It'd be awesome if you all were like sitting in a circle and that you so you could um, talk to each other, think, maybe write down some ideas and then um, turn to the person next to you and chat. So the first thing that I'd love for you to journal about or think about and then and then once you're done, turn to the person next to you and chat about is um, what kinds of things are happening around you, whether it's in your personal field of awareness or in a broader, more... Um, cyborg-esque field of awareness, including like a technological plus um, physiological, somatic, ecological field of awareness. Um, what's what's happening around you that you think is important to um, to copy down and to pass on to successive generations of, of people? What, what kinds of histories are being made right now or stories are being made right now that you think should be passed on? Um, so think about that. Um, once you're done thinking about it, turn to the person next to you, have a short discussion, and then we'll keep going. All right, folks. Well, I'd love to chat about um, what we came up with. So the question, again, was um, in your own personal plus extended um, both cybernetically, um, cyborgly, um, and otherwise um, your extended fields of awareness, what kinds of stories are happening around you that you think are important to pass on? Um, for me personally, um, I think the things that I'm really curious about are, are slight shifts both in, in uh, the weather, um, tracking the weather, tracking human movement, um, and um, how he, that tracking of human mu movement corresponds to, to, to general sentiments. Um, really curious about um, like the, the status of hope and the status of optimism, the status of... Um, uh, love, even though I don't know how, how to really quantify that, um, that can be felt in a place. And then I'm also really curious about things like whale sightings, um, grizzly bear sightings, at least out here where I live, but, but out there, it's like, how, how often are you seeing orcas and porpoises? Um, and, and how does that all fit into, into story making for you? It might be something really different. I'm curious. would love to know. Um, the thing that I want to talk about first are drapas. Now that that's probably the phrase that's like, what what is he, what's that? And um, a drapa is um, an Icelandic word meaning um, like a song or a poem for a quote slain one. Um, I first discovered this form through um, a friend of mine who's at the workshop now, Will Vesperman, um, turned me on to the sagas of Icelanders, which is um, the collected kind of communally authored, um, more kind of matter-of-fact histories of the settling of Iceland and, and some of the more prominent heroic figures in, in these sagas. Now, these heroic figures often, um, and more often than not, were poets. Um, not written. They didn't write these things down. They, were, they, were, they spoke these poems um, 
they composed them. They, so it wasn't, wasn't all off the cuff, you know, just kind of off the cuff like that. It was they composed them, um, but they they recited poetry and were often given accolades for it. Um, and it was a it was a way that they chased honor. Um, now a drapa was a was a form of poem, a highly structured, highly metered form of poem. Wish I knew more about the meter structure. I don't have the sagas of Icelanders with me. I just don't and. There's not a whole lot online about it. So, um, anyway, this the drapa was um, a form that these hero, these Iceland, these Icelandic heroes would uh, recite for, um, for mainly kings. They'd get paid by by members of the high court, um, like the kings of Norway, um, to recite um, these poems that um, essentially. Um, contained their histories, contained the stories of those kings, whether life stories or political stories, stories of battle, um, in in the poetic meter, and so that was that was the way that history got passed on was through um, held and passed on was through um, in in the tightly packed um, systematic um, meter of these oral orally recited um, poems. So that's a lot there. Let's uh, let's go and read one. Never mind. Let's take a stretch break. So the next thing I want to focus on is elegy, and when I when I think of, um, well, I should turn that to you. When you hear the word elegy, where do you where what do you think of? What is what comes to mind? Okay, turn to the person next to you and, and share some ideas. So um, Wikipedia defines an elegy as a poem of serious reflection, usually a lament for the dead. Um, Duck Duck Go says it's a poem or song composed especially as a lament for a deceased person. Um, so we've got, um, comparing this to Drapa, you know, the Drapa is this highly metered and structured Icelandic form that was meant to capture history, capture an event, um, the life of a person. An elegy is similar, but it's, it's much more, it's a much looser term, um, and I think can be used in a lot of, of wide, um, ranging ways. Um, one way that I, one, one specific elegy, or at least I'd like to define it as an elegy, that I think is, is um, worth looking at, at least today, um, maybe as a genre even, um, is uh, elegy for, of, of American history, one, one being Simon J. Ortiz's um, From Sand Creek, which is um, a book-length poem um, about the w sort of commentary um, as well as detailing um, the events of, of um, 1864 massacre of um, Cheyenne and Arapaho um, women and children by U.S. soldiers and volunteers. So um, in that in that piece, Simon Ortiz writes um, specifically in this poem. He says, "This America has been a burden of steel and mad death, but look now, there are flowers and new grass and a spring wind rising from Sand Creek." I love that line, um, that, that just, the statement piece, this America has been a burden of steel and mad death, but look, um, there are flowers, and new grass, and a spring wind rising from Sand Creek. If you were to write an elegy for anything, your life, somebody else's life, culture, country, um, what would you write it for? Um, so don't necessarily take this time to start writing an elegy or writing a, a, a drapa, but, but again, think, pair, share. So think about something, what, what do you, it, again, it doesn't necessarily even need to be, a, it could be a poem of lament, it could be a story of lament or, or, or um, grief, um, or it could just um, be an account. But um, as part of history making, um, or story making and pa story passing along, um, what do you think should be um, given elegy right now? Turn to the person next to you and discuss. That's all I got for you today, folks. I'm going to just bail out on that last section because I got COVID. And I, I, I'm going to go take a nap or something. Um, but I'll turn it to you now.
um, if you would like to create something, whether it's um, a po poetry or a journal entry or a drawing or something, um, I would look at the world around you, at the, at the, at the woods on Orcus, at, at the people around you. Um, think about your last day, um, your last couple of days. Think about what's um, what around you could become part of a of a um, an elegy of sorts. What could become part of a um, um, a poem that um, pulls its weight in in keeping our story going? Um, what do you think should be heard? Maybe it's um, just the wind through the trees, um, or something else. Much love to you all. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Have a good time out there. And make sure to drink lots of water. Um, and eat good food. And take care of each other. Miss you all. Wish I could know all of you. Love you. Bye-bye. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody saw that one. Yeah. Yeah.